Hey everybody, this is Michael with the Mechatronics channel, and this is part two of a video series that I'm creating to show uh, how to create add-on instructions in Studio 5000, how to create add-on graphics in uh, Studio 5000 View Designer, and how to link them together uh, so that you can uh, quickly reuse graphics without having to go through and link up a bunch of tags. So in the first part of this video series, uh, I made an add-on instruction, and uh, I've now uh, connected to a controller, and I'm going to put this add-on instruction inside of a uh, inside of a controller and test it out just to make sure it's working, and then I'm going to start working on the uh, add-on graphic. So I'm going to add a rung to this program. I'm going to go down to add-on, and I'm going to hit uh, stopwatch which is the name of the add-on instruction that we created and I'm going to give it a tag name. So I've already created this uh, tag before so I just put it in there and hit the accept edits button and just to test it out to make sure it works I'm going to hit the I'm going to toggle the start PV bit and as you can see, the seconds count starts to increment. I can hit the pause PB. And the seconds stops incrementing. And then I can hit the reset PB. And it resets the seconds field. So that all seems to be working correctly. Um, so I'm going to go now into um, Studio 5000 View Designer and start working on an add-on graphic. So uh, View Designer is actually built into Studio 5000. So if you have the license um, for Studio 5000, you have this HMI software already built in. Um, now you can only use this HMI software to program the new PanelView 5000 series, so keep that in mind. Um, but the add-on graphic capability, uh, I actually really like it. Um, I think it, it's a little bit more intuitive than the uh, the capabilities than the similar capabilities that you have with the PanelView uh, Plus Sevens. Um, but anyway, so. To make an add-on graphic, all you have to do is go down to Assets in your Project Explorer, right-click, and do New Add-on Graphic. So I'm going to name this one Stopwatch. And I'm going to open it, and it's just a blank screen, so this is where you can create your add-on graphic. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down to this Property Definition down here on the bottom, and I'm going to type the name of the data type that I want to create or that I want to add to this definition. So I'm just going to name it stopwatch and I'm going to come over here to data type and I'm going to go to uh, user defined the name of the controller and I'm going to uh, select stopwatch which, which was the name of the data type uh, that was created when we created the add-on instruction for the stopwatch. So I'll select that. And so that's linked up. So now all we have to do is actually build the graphic. So if I'm just going to come over here and drag, uh, drag and drop a box. I'm going to add a button. I'll name it start. I'll go over here to events and add a button behavior. And I'll make it select set a tag to one on press zero on release. And I will select, I'll go down to stopwatch and start PB. So these are not actual controller tags. These are just uh, fields of the UDT. So this isn't a tag. This is the data type. And then this is the uh, start PB field within that data type. So when we actually add this to, to a screen on the project, we'll link it up with a controller tag. And I'll show you why that's nice here in a minute. So I'm going to just copy this 
two more times and I will name this one stop and I'll name this one reset so I'll come here and go to events and I will link it to reset P sorry that should actually be linked to uh, pause and this should be linked to reset I'm also I'm going to change the background of this to make it a light blue color we're also going to need some text displays so I'll put one up here and I'll name it hours and then I'll add two more and this one will be minutes and this one will be seconds and I'll straighten these up a little bit Just a little. okay and then I'm going to add some numeric displays so I'm going to only put two digits before the decimal and I'm going to link these to the output parameters that we made when we made the add-on instruction so I'm gonna link this one to hours I'm gonna link this one to minutes and I'm going to link this last one to seconds I'm gonna move these up just a little bit and make this a little smaller I'm gonna move these try to line these up a little bit better okay <clears throat> now I'm gonna save this and I'm going to go to a user defined screen which I've already created and I just called it stopwatch and I'm going to select my stopwatch add-on graphic and drag and drop it and there it is so this is why it's nice to make an add-on graphic so I can come over here and I can look over at my studio and I see that I named this one uh, stopwatch one so I will go look at my tags it's already only populate it, it automatically populates it with ones that are, are of this data type so I know that I've, I've made two tags that are of the stopwatch data type and the one that I created was stopwatch one so I link that up and I'm done that's all I have to do so if I wanted to add another one all I'd have to do drag and drop my second one and let's say this one I'm gonna link it up instead of to stopwatch one I'm gonna link it up to stopwatch center these up a little bit and I'll go ahead and I'll go back to studio and I'm gonna actually add just the the first one just so you can see how easy it is to add multiple instances of these so uh, now I'm going to emulate this so first I'll just verify it make sure that there's no issues and then I'll go to emulate And it'll take just a minute to build the runtime application and get it started and pull up the screen. This is actually another feature that I really like um, is this emulator. It seems like it's a step in the right direction from the little running man on Factory Talk.
and it does take just a minute so you can see uh, my two stopwatches and the tags are still linking up right now that's why you get these red X's uh, when when you have errors in your tags so now they've gone away and I can do I, all I have to do I can hit the start button and this will start incrementing stop reset start again and see this is a completely different instance of this so hit start and it starts incrementing completely independently of the first one so that's why these are so powerful is just because uh, you can make one graphic and you can and one add-on instruction or you know one UDT and populate it throughout a project many 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 times and once you've done it once it, it doesn't take but a minute to add another one and that's what makes these so powerful